Welcome to Bible Reader Companion. We are continuing our studies in the book of James, and today we are going to be reading from James chapter 5. The Bible reading uh, this week is James chapters 4 and 5, and we are going to take our study from chapter 5. We're going to begin in verse 13. We will be reading from the New King James Version. James chapter 5, beginning in verse 13. Is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. Is anyone cheerful? Let him sing psalms. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of, the, of faith will save the sick. And the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Elijah was a man with a nature like ours, and he prayed earnestly that it would not rain. And it did not rain on the land for three years and six months. And he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth produced its fruit. I believe there's a number of things that we can take from this section of Scripture. One is that we should be sharing with one another our joys, our sorrows. We should be turning to one another for spiritual comfort and strength. The elders are there to help us. It's part of their role. The elders at West Main in Louisville have been doing a good job in teaching about leadership and how the role of eldership is not just about dollars and cents and maintaining a budget, but it's about spiritual service. And here's another example of that, of elders serving. But it's also about, in general, Christians sharing their lives with one another. Confess your trespasses to one another. You know... We are so afraid in our society to admit that we're weak or we're frail or we have, a, we have a weakness or a problem. And yet that's the very thing that we ought to be doing is going to one another and saying, hey, I've got a problem. Can you help me? Can you give me strength? Can you pray for me to, as, as I face these challenges and these struggles that I'm dealing with? And in this, he talks about the effectiveness of prayer. And I question whether we believe this. Do we pray like we believe this? Do we pray for things in our life that we hope God will have an impact on? And if not, why not? Is it because we don't believe God will? The example that he uses here is one from the Old Testament, and yet he's writing it to New Testament Christians and suggesting that they pray with that same kind of faith. Do we go to one another? Do we pray for one another? Do we lean on one another? James says we should. Thank you for thinking on these things, and we hope you'll join us again tomorrow. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook for more content like this.